Hello everyone, this is DJ Dimaliwat and welcome to Project Six Figures. And for today's guest, we have Miss Marinel Mayuyo, a very good friend of mine. She's the president of Meja International Manpower Agency. Right? And we met through a very good friend then, si Annie, and she, we also interviewed her dito sa ating program. And of course, um, we've grown close together because madalas din ako pumunta sa office nila and I've learned a lot from her as well. And she's here to share her story and of course what she does in her business. So I think uh, mas maganda kung maririnig natin straight from her. But before that, kind I would like to remind you to subscribe in my YouTube channel and also hit the like button. Also share this to your friends so that we'll, they will also benefit from that. So let's ask Marinel. Marinel, can you share with us your background, and then the business that you're doing right now. So, take it away. So, first of all, before I proceed, thank you, sir, for having me here. Um, kinakabahan ako, sa totoo lang. Hindi ko in-expect, but that thank you for considering me to be part of your project. And congratulations din, kasi napaka-useful na mga ganitong content ngayon, no? Tama, Lalo na spread sa ala natin. Sa Facebook kasi, ang dami ng mga, pwede ka mga ako ng mga negative news dun eh. Yeah. So, nakakuha lang na maraming mga ganito tayo mapapanood. Na very useful, para nice. malam lang ng positive yung ating mga mind. Yeah, so, hello po, magandang hapon sa lahat. Ako po si Marinel Mayuyo, 36 years old. And katulad nga po ng sinabi Mr. DJ, I am the president of Meja International Manpower Agency. But my journey started uh, when I graduated in college. Actually, uh, Sir DJ, ang pangarap ko nun is to become a flight attendant talaga. Wow. Yeah, so so after graduation, yun lang talaga yung pinag-applyan ko. Diba? Okay. Nag-apply lang ako as flight attendant. Hindi ako nag-apply sa iba. Pero alam mo yun, wala eh. Hindi talaga ata para sa atin. So sa so okay. dinami-dami ng airlines na pinag-applyan ko, Wala akong kumuha sa akin. Ah, for six oh, okay. months. For six uh, months, uh, unemployed ako after graduation. So, yung yung pressure na, ah, you'll be graduate, pero six months oh, na ng ako grabe. Pero marami, so, no, that, natural sa industry nyo yun eh, di ba? Marami talaga akong kilalang ganun eh, sa tourism. Hirap talaga sa airlines. So, Actually, hindi akong graduate ng tourism. Ang nakatawa okay. dito, ganun okay. ako ng Fort sa Las Banyos. Okay. <laughs> Pero ang pangarap ko talaga is maging flight attendant. Okay. So, yun, okay. Focus lang ako sa pag-a-apply nun. Tapos, the last airline na in-applyan ko was Oman Air. Okay. So, nung hindi ako natanggap sa final selection, yung may-ari ng agency dito sa Philippines sent me a message telling na yung, yung agency sa Oman who is actually hiring flight attendants needs a secretary back then. Okay. Hindi na ako nagdalawang isip kasi okay. sabi ko, ikaw na pa yun. Kasi okay. pwede ko yung maging tulay para okay. maging flight attendant ako. So, so okay. I said yes to the offer. Tapos, 2005, 2005 noon, 21 years old ako, lumiyahe ako papuntang Oman with the intention na gagamitin ko lang na stepping stone yung agency ko. Yung agency na yon para makapag-apply sa Oman Air. But then, ayun na, Wala eh, na, na-engage na rin ako sa trabaho, na-offera ng promotion, so hindi na ako nakapag-apply to Oman Air. So, okay. I served for six years. Wow. Six years na yung OFW sa actually. Oman. Sa Oman. Oh. Yeah, recruitment agency. Yeah. Diba? So, yun talaga yung first-hand experience ko ng recruitment agency. Okay, wow. And wow. then, um, after six years, 2011, umuwi ako dito sa Philippines. So, ang na-experience ko naman nung Sir DJ, Pag OFW ka kasi, uwi ka ng madaming pera, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, oh. may uh, ipon. Oo, oh, oh, may ipon. Pero dahil wala ka ng source of income dito, madideplete. Oh, oh, madideplete oh. dito. Oh. Diba? So, ayoko namang mag-apply ng ano, ng dito. Ayoko oh. mag-apply dito. I have to go back sa minimum wage. Kapag okay. Ganun. So, pag-apply, anong gagawin ko? So, buti na lang si Annie. Si Annie. Okay. Uh, nadala ko din kasi siya sa Oman before. So, okay. possibly she will come with me. Pero okay. yun, you know, it's not the type na magiging employee, di ba? Oh, so, oh. maaga siyang umuwi dito at nakapag-start din sa recruitment. Okay, okay. So, at first, at first, nung nandito ako, she just, she offered me to join her, but I refused. So, okay. Kasi I'm thinking na, parang, alam mo yun, parang yung mindset na mas okay pag-employee ka. Pag kasi oh, employee ka, ang daming gagawin, ang daming Risky, gagawin. ganyan, oo. Oh. Tama. So, 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 so
Siyempre, hindi niya ako pinipilit. Pero, alam mo, nag-strategize. Every now and then, she asks me questions. Uh, she asks how to speak. Paano gawin okay. to? How to send email? How to okay. communicate? Okay. Tutulungan ko naman siya. Okay. For one reason, ano, set up namin. And then, parang I came to my senses na, teka lang, I am able to help her sa business niya eh. So, why okay. not earn something from that, di ba? So, eventually, nanalo siya. I joined okay. in her small business. <laughs> so, so, nagkaroon lang kami ng magandang setup ng sa negosyo niya. And we were together for four years. Diba? Okay. And then, it was 2016 when we had the opportunity na magkaroon ng sarili na agency. Wow. Kami na So, may partner din kami na iba dito sa agency na to. So, 2016 nung na-acquire namin yung first. Wow. And then, well, it was my first but for her, it was her second na by that time. Okay. And then, uh, 2019, nadagdagan siya ng another two agencies. Wow. So, so tatlo na agency mo? Yeah, tatlo na. Grabe. Uh, one, Grabe. Uh, tatlo na siya. Tapos, um, two years after namin ma-acquire yung medya nga, Uh, it became number 10 sa POEA list of top deployer. Wow. Siya. Sa buong Pilipinas yan. Sa buong Pilipinas. Grabe. So, and then 2019, naging pang-anong kami. Number 6 na. Uh, yeah, number 6 na. So, Ang galing. Ito, 2020, medyo uh, rough. Affected tayo ngayon. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. Doon, doon. Doon. Grabe, no? Na. I think, sobrang inspiring ng story mo. And at the same time, I think it's destiny. Doon ang liwala ka sa destiny. Kasi ganun eh, di ba? Six months ka nag-apply, hindi ka talaga pinagbigyan, and then dinala ka doon sa Oman, and then doon ka napunta sa industriya, doon ka nag-work. Yun din yung naging negosyo mo ngayon. Yes. Di ba? So do you think, uh, nga, a lot of people, una ba pinlano mo na pumasok? Gusto mong, o kailan? Siguro ang tanong ko, kailan? At what point of your, within six years? Na, na, kailan mo naisip na gusto mong gawin to negosyo na to? Or naisip mo ba while you're abroad? Never. <laughs> Never mo naisip? So talagang work, so, work, work lang, ganun. Opo. Okay. Oo, parang ang, ang mindset ko talaga is kasi maganda yung income ko as OFW. Oo, oh, okay. syempre, syempre. At kung oh. gusto talaga naisip na okay. magkaroon ko ng sarili kong agency dito. Okay. And you know, kung nandun ako kasi sa Oman, okay naman yung negosyo, okay yung boss, okay yung trabaho. And pagdating dito, alam mo yon hindi ko talaga kasi alam yung house ng Philip Tama. na recruitment. Tama. And I was too afraid, di ba? Tama. So, hindi ko talaga siya naisip. So, what, in my... what's the shift? Where's the shift na uh, happened? No? Sa, sa, ang yeah. le- sa ang time? Pero paano, yeah. paano biglang nagbago? No ano, no umuwi ako dito and then okay. wala, akong, wala akong income. As in, okay. kung ano man yung naipon ko noon, uti-uti talaga siyang nauubos. Okay. okay. And then, yun nga, nung na-realize ko na tumutulong ako, tumutulong ako sa best friend ko, but then, hindi hindi naman ako, alam mo, why not make make something out of it, di ba? Okay, so, okay. Puti-puti eh. Okay, Puti-puti. sino tumutulong ka? Hindi ka pa negosyo yon Parang nagsiserve ka lang, tumutulong. Mm-hmm. Yung nga, gusto yeah. mo maging empleyado pa rin. But dahil, mm-hmm. yes. dahil siguro nakikita mo na eventually, that's you get the feel of it. Di ba? Parang you're working for free in a way. Libre ba yun? O nagbabayad siya? Noo, na libre. Oo, di ba? Oo, 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 oo. Until ako na yung nakarealize na, teka, why not jump into it, di ba? Okay, okay. So, actually, well, tactic niya yung strategy niya yun. Strategy niya yun, no? Actually, um, one of the things that I realized, and and I also say, you know, in, when I talk to people, one of the best ways for you to start a business is to work for free in that organization. Mm-hmm. Kasi, di ba, yeah. you're there not just to make money. Kasi minsan, pag nakatingin ka sa salary, nabubulag ka ng salary, you're not looking at growth or really helping, eh. No, but when you're there to really help and do your best, tapos natututo, mas natututo tayo, di ba? At pag mas natututo tayo, yun, dun mo na-realize, parang kaya ko rin gawin to. And I think that happened to you. Di ba? And I've been comfortable with Philippine recruitment. Uti-uti, no, wala yung oh, 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 parang gano'n, no? Uy, kaya ko pala, maganda pala. Parang gano'n, you start to fall in love with the industry. Yeah, that's that's good. And I think a lot of success stories also like that, di ba? Parang gano'n yung nangyayari, na unti-unti hanggang sa na-realize nila, gusto ko pala to. Diba? Yeah. So, ang galing nun, no? So, nag-start kayo 2016? O, oh, then, yes. kailangan ka nag-start with, the, with her. 2016 kasi, you own the agency already. Yes. Pero yes. you started before that, before ka nagkaroon ng sarili mong agency. Kailangan ka nag-start uh, sa industry. 2011. Mga 2012 dito sa Philippines. Parang one year after mong bumalik oh, dito. One year back. One year back. Ah, ah, ah. Pahipahinga ka. Ganun naman, actually, mabilis ka pa nga eh. Compared to yeah. sa iba eh, no? So, the question is, let's say, 
gano katagal from 2011, eh, 2012, you started, gano katagal before ka kumita ng six figures a month sa industry? Ano din? When I had my agency sa kalang. Okay, okay, okay. So, nung una parang tulong-tulong lang, ganyan. Yeah, nung una tulong. Although, maganda din yung kita, pero it's oh. not... Not, not yet six figures. Uh, uh, not yet six figures. Pero okay pero, lang, no? So, ibig sabihin parang four years. From 2012 mm-hmm. to 2016. But, you know, yeah. except, lagi kong sinasabi, four years, you, it may seem long, but how many four years na yung dumaan sa buhay mo, di ba? Some people took, it's already had ten years at in their employment. Hindi ka naman umabot ng six figures, probably, or you cannot make it sustainable. So, still, four years is not short. Di ba? So, yes. can you share with us Ano yung matutunan mo dun sa four years na yon? Kasi definitely, the reason why you became that pe- that person that able to earn six figures consistently, nag-grow mo kasi yung sarili mo eh. So definitely, nag-grow ka nung four years na yun. Ano yung mga natutunan mo during that four years? Can you share it with us? Yeah. Um, siguro yung una ko natutunan is um, surround yourself with people who, who push you nice. up talaga. Nice, Alam nice. mo yun? So, so especially ako, ano, alam mo yung medyo mahina yung loob. Ang daming uh, worries. And what yeah. if it will not work? What if yeah. ganito? Yeah. Pero if you're surrounded with people na mga visionary, tapos tinutulungan ka naman na i-push pa taas, wala kang choice eh. Talagang you are you are the average of the five people that you are always with, di ba? Yeah. Yeah. So because I am surrounded by those kind of people, unti-unti, naging familiar ako sa recruitment na wala yung tao ko. Uh-huh. And then, ako, Isa din doon sa DJ is ano, I am really good in managing money. Okay, nice. So, yun talaga nice. yung gift ko from the very beginning. Okay. Diba? Kahit mong elementary ako, with 10 pesos na baon ko in a day, I make it a point na meron akong na-eat na may 2 pesos per day. Sino, saan mo natutunan yan? Saan mo natutunan yan? Sino nagturo sa'yo? Wala nang nagturo sa'kin. Basta okay. alam ko yung marunong ako mag-ipon talaga. No? So, huwag mo okay. ako sa tayo. Okay. Nga nila parents, ko, parents pa rin. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. So kasi ano eh, uh, it doesn't matter eh kung gano'ng kadami yung pumapasok. For okay. me, yeah, it doesn't okay. matter. If you don't know how to manage it properly. Tama, tama. Diba? tama. Especially pag nasa negosyo tayo, yung inflow ng money talagang malaki. Yes, yes. Pero if, if, if you don't, if you're not able to allocate it properly, uh, mahihirapan ka talagang balansihin. Tama. So that's what I'm good at. Uh, managing. Galing. So, nag-benefit sa'yo yun. No? Kumbaga, siguro that's yeah. one of the things. Sabi mo, num- two things. No? Number one, surround yourself with people who will push you up. Yes. Diba? Maganda yun. Uh, you be with them because you're the average of five people you work with or you spend most of your time with. Number two, you have to learn how to manage your money. Kasi I think it helped, eh, diba? Kasi, yun nga, you work for six years abroad, nakaipon ka. And I'm sure a lot of OFWs probably who are watching, um, maybe more than six years pa nga sila abroad. Ang tanong, na manage ba yung pera or nakapag-save ba? I believe naman marami namang nakapag-save, di ba? Marami rin naman nakapag-save. So, let's now talk about what happened next. Kasi I'm sure, I have, based on my experience, marami namang OFWs na nakapag-save. Ang problema pag uwi dito, iba yung nangyayari. So, bakit na iba yung story mo, di ba? Anong nangyari? Anong ginawa mong tama? Bakit tingin mo you progressed however yung iba or karamihan regressed pag uwi dito kahit may ipo, na uubo. So, what worked for you? Um, dito, nung umuwi ako sa Philippines, part of my money, na-invest ko din talaga siya into something. That means, okay. Diba? Okay, okay. Nakapagpatayo tayo ng, ng apartment dito. Wow, nice. Ito, nice. Uh, so, how, somehow, may nakakasupport sa primary needs namin dito sa, sa San Pablo, sa parents. Okay, okay. And then, yun nga, um, savor talaga eh. I don't really indulge myself, especially kapag alam ko naman na limited na yung aking fund. Ano? So before it becomes totally depleted, oh. nag, nag, ano na rin talaga ako, naghanap na rin talaga ako ng pwede kong magkaroon ng source. Tama. What works best talaga sa akin is, hindi ako na na, 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 na bago yung molding ng isip ko na don't be an employee. Diba? Yeah. It, you've been an employee for six years, so yeah. try another thing naman. And Tama. okay naman talaga sa recruitment yung, yung flow ng money and everything. Tama. So yun. Yeah. Ang ganda, no? Ang ganda, no? Ang tama. No? So, uh, ito, ang napansin ko, kahit six years ka pa lang, nakapagpatayo ka ng apartment. Mm-hmm. And what happened is, di ba, kasi yung iba, iniisip nila, ay, ano eh, tarito, parang kaya hindi ako makaipon. Minsan, tinatulong ko sa family ko eh. Minsan, ganun yeah. ma- maaring mentality. Pero what you did is you acquired another asset that can help you 
provide the needs of your family. Parang ngayon, pag nagawa mo yon yung mga next few years mong kinita, para sa sarili mo na, di ba? Pwedeng ganun, natulungan siya. So nakapag-ipon ka, nakapag-invest ka. I think a lot of people should learn how to do that, di ba? Or dapat magkaroon ng ganun. So siguro yung mga taong magsisimula pa lang mag-work or malaki yung kita ngayon or nagpa-planong mag-OFW or mag-negosyo. Yun nga, during the time na malaki yung kita, dapat talaga ma-imanage. Huwag ubus o boss. Di ba? Ganon. Tama. I-manage ng tama. Ang galing. Galing nun. Sige. So, now, do you think people can also do what you did? No? Kasi again, probably, uh, sinabi mo nga, may, siyempre may swerte. Sabi nila, iswerte naman. Kasi yung ginampinasok na negosyo, uh, naging successful. Ganyan. Pero hindi rin naman lahat na nagtaong nagsisimula sa negosyo, ano eh, nagiging successful. So, it's, for me, it's not about really just the industry. Di ba? Um, it's really the person. So, ano naman yung tingin mo naging qualities mo kung bakit nagtuloy-tuloy yung success mula nung nagsimula ka sa business na to? Ano, um, naging open din ako sa, although mahirap yung proseso ko talaga, pero hmm. I became open to change. Okay. And, okay. Okay. Din, parang inabsorb ko din na, okay, this is a totally different environment. This is Tama. a totally different scenario na ngayon from Oman and here. So, um, in-accept ko din na kailangan ko mag-adjust, kailangan ko magbago. Nag-enroll tayo sa mga courses. Yeah, diba? yeah. Um, Kapag ng additional knowledge, network, and everything. Yeah, so every day, we are spending our days in the agency na may natutunan talaga kaming tago. We are learning something new. Apart sa kung ano na yung traditional way of managing the business, nag-inject pa kami ng um, mga natutunan namin for the court, from the courses. At okay. na-i-play din namin yun sa team. So, maganda talaga yung, yung, yung naging development at yung naging effect. Maybe kaya naging, alam mo yun, from, from beginning tapos two years of operation, number 10 na siya agad. Yeah, diba? yeah. Galing. Grabe yun. Two years is number 10 ka agad, di ba? So, curious ako. Ano, yun nga, ang, ang, pinaka, ang pinaka naging bala or di ba, secret ng media is really continuous growth. Yes. And I think it's been consistent to everyone I interviewed. No, eh, siguro kung marami ka na napapanood na interview ko oh, dito sa, sa pre, Project 6 Figures, that's one thing in common to everyone. Eh. They are always growing and learning, reinvesting to themselves. Kasi nga, again, people are changing, the world is changing. You also should be able to adapt or at least be, for, be, yun nga, be ahead of time or be ahead of them. Ganon. So, ang galing, grabe. So, continuously nag-grow ka, naging open ka, in mo yeah. na Nga, you are willing to learn. You have to learn something. No? Para, you have to. Ang ganda nun, di ba? Yun, you have to learn. Kasi responsibility mo yun as a business owner. Yes. Di ba? At saka ang maganda dito, lahat naman natututunan. Yun nga, hindi mo naman yan background. Di ba? And naging open ka lang sa opportunity. Inaral mo rin talaga siya. Di ba? Tama? Ganun yung nangyari. Yeah. yeah. Ang maganda lang kasi dito, yung partner ko, like yung, yung nabanggit mo nga, si Ali, parang siya talaga yung, very, yung siya talaga yung nagsimula ng, ng maging open into learning. Eh. Tapos, okay, okay. Tapos, yung interfit na lang niya, lahat na natututunan niya into the industry. Okay. Dahil yun naman yung, yung expertise ko, yung application ng mga ideas niya into okay. our industry. So, so, ang ganda ng partnership, no? Yeah, yeah. Ang ganda ng partnership. Ang galing nun eh, yun nga, kumbaga parang na, nasurround ka kasi ng tao. Kumbaga, you chose to spend time with people yeah. who are also growing as well. Kasi diba, if you're, if you're, if the people around you are slacking, ayaw mag-grow, walang natutunan, hahatakin ka rin pababa eh. Energy yan eh. Oo, oh, energy siya eh. No, but if people are always, you know, excited and humble, hindi lang kasi porke growing, magagaling, overwhelming na siya eh. Based on my experience sa inyo, I'll talk to you. Uh, as ikaw, I'll talk, I'll speak about you and Annie. You're very humble na as if, yun nga, pati kayo, feeling nyo may matutunan pa rin kayo sa akin lagi. Ganon, oh, even though, man. oh naman, di ba? Ibig sabihin, kahit malaki yung business nyo, you know that in every person, you can learn something. That's how you treat yourself and how you see yourself. And because of that, you're blessed with, yun nga, with growing business. Growing businesses kasi tatlo na yung, yung agency mo eh. Di ba? And I'm sure... Kaya yan, nakabili ka ng tatlong agency. You manage your money well as well. Yes. Diba? Yes. Ganun yung nangyari. Napaikot mo siya ng napaikot. So, can you give us a few tips, our viewers a few tips of how you manage your money no, para makakuha rin tayo ng mga ideas? Kasi nabanggit mo yun, isa yun sa pinakamagandang quality mo. Eh. So, can you give us a few tips? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, ina-apply ko yung ano, yung sa wealthy jars mo. 
Yeah, diba? yeah. Yung congress mo or yung mga seminar, yung mga managers natin. Yeah, yeah. So, ina-allocate ko siya by percentage. Okay. So, whatever gross income that I receive, um, pinag-percentage ko talaga siya, dinidistribute ko siya. Let's say, okay. 20% will be reinvested sa okay. negosyo. Diba? Okay. Like, 10% will be for the necessities or 10% will be for giving and yeah. 10% will be for play jar, alam mo yun, yung para mapamper mo naman yung sarili mo. Okay. Give, ano lang, um, very equal distribution or yung okay. harmonious distribution ng money kasi very important din yun na wala kang nalilift out na parte ng sarili mo. Alam mo yun, tama, hindi mo pinigilis lahat ng pera mo sa negosyo. Because what if, what if, ganun yung nangyari sa DJ and then this happens. Di ba? Oh, yeah, yeah, the recruitment, yeah. ang, ang, ang prediction is for the whole year. Wala kami negosyo. Grabe, diba? no? But, yeah. Oh, Pero oh, ready kayo niyan. Ha? Ready kayo niyan. Well, dahil na-allocate ka na Dahil mag- nga na-allocate mo. Ang galing nun. Grabe, di ba? May man na pakinabangan. No? Ano man, hindi ako natatakot na magugutong kami. Yeah. Ang you know, yeah. na- galing. Na- so, it's it's really on how well you manage your money. And, um, um making sure na na even you invest into something making sure na meron natitira para sa sarili mo to enjoy oh nice kasi nice eh yun yung isa naturuan natutunan ko sa sa Jarce eh kasi saver ako naturally yeah. saver yeah. so what ayo gumastos sa, oh oh if i buy something <laughs> na konsensya oh. naman ako oh, yun yung oh, oh. ano pero since natutunan ko yung money management wala na okay na lang Tama. siya guilt free ako, yeah yeah Ang ganda noon, ang ganda noon talaga grabe no. So again, I, I I appreciate that that you are really talking about allocating your your whatever your income, 'di ba? Into different um allocations or different accounts, 'di ba? May pang reinvest, may para sa sarili mo, may para sa panggastos and everything. But of course, again, would you agree na still still step 1 kailangan malaki yung kita mo eh, 'di ba? Kasi ang hirap din namang i-manage pag sobrang liit eh. So it goes hand in hand with really doing your business well, di ba? Finding the right business and then doing it well. Yes. Ganun. So, again, as you said, in the recruitment e- industry, malaki yung kita, pero ngayon, posibleng, because you travel, posibleng the whole year, di ba? But thank God, um, uh, you have enough savings to weather the one whole year. Biro mo, parang one whole year kang may bakasyon. Oo. Oh. Makakabuo na talaga. Sana, Grabe. sana. <laughs> Ganun. Sana sa opportunity na. Oo, oh, ito na yung time na yun. Grabe. So again, yun nga, I think perfect timing, di ba? Part of your prayers na rin tong time na to. Eh. Kahit ako nagdadasal para sa'yo, ito na yung perfect oh, time. Oh, thank you. Thank Talaga, you grabe. Oo, oh, ganun. So, ang galing, no? So what if, let's say, what if people would want to to also enter your industry? What what they, should they do? Kasi definitely maganda yung kita dyan. Ano kaya mga dapat nilang gawin? Okay. So if they want to um they have to be sure na kasi okay. when you step into a business okay. hindi ka ganun kadali talaga Ama. alam mo okay. so in any business dapat ganun time, you will invest money yes diba? yes so, siguro ang una nilang pag-aralan is how much of my existing money am i willing diba how much yeah, of my yeah. existing money am i willing to invest in okay. here Okay. Kasi baka bigla nilang ibuhos lahat and you know, hindi mo alam kung ano yung first years of business with you. Tama, have. tama, tama. First to consider is the budget that they have. Okay, okay. And then, um, they have to, I think they have to to go with with the changes na nangyayari. They have to adjust. Okay. Yun, um, whatever it is that they learned before, maybe tomorrow, next week, or next year, hindi na siya talaga. Uh, obsolete na siya, yeah. So yeah, isa yun sa isa yun sa proseso ko na medyo okay. okay. na ako. Pero <laughs> pero it's worth it. It's okay. Worth it. Okay. Nice, nice. So budgetarian ka talaga kasi unang-una <laughs> budget eh. Unang-una talaga budget as pangalawa, yeah. yun nga, you have to be willing to adapt and grow. Yun nga, continuously learn new things oh, with yeah. the changing environment. Ang ganda noon, ang ganda noon. I think and those are those are the tips. Ako. Sige. Another thing also is they uh, we have to be clear kung ano ba yung value na ibibigay ng business na gusto mong puntahan. Okay. Ano? Kasi it value will, sa workplace, value sa tao. Value sa tao. Value sa tao. Because oh. it, it it will be your why eh. Okay. As you go okay. along na pag medyo nahihirapan ka na, parang babalik ka na lang. In the first place, bakit ko ba ito ginagawa? Tama, tama, diba? tama. So, so it's not about just making money. Diba? Yeah. It's about helping people and having that value. Ang galing. Grabe. Ang daming natutunan, di ba? Ayun. So, that's great. Ito, I have a question. Ako, 
uh, we call this the six figure question no lahat ng nag nag interview namin dito at nag guess we ask this question if you were to start a business right now wala ka pang ibang negosyo nyare no wala pang ibang negosyo but you already have your experience yung mga training na atinan mo your wisdom your skills your network no pero ngayon ka pala magi start what business will you start and why Ngayon talaga, ano eh, recruitment pa rin talaga. Yun ako, talaga. Eh. Oo, oh, yun talaga. Kasi ano eh, especially in this time, ang daming walang trabaho dito yeah. sa Philippines. Yeah. And yeah. then, ang daming nakarealize na ang hirap pala talaga ng walang trabaho. Alam That's mo true. Yun. Definitely, oh. madaming mga naghihintay sa amin pagbalik. Okay. And then sa abroad din, madaming companies ang nag-shutdown. Okay. So, after a year, mag-open sila, maghahanap sila ng workforce. Tama, so, tama. Ang, ang parang ano siya, aligned. Yeah, Alive, yeah. diba? Mag-meet talaga sila mga walang trabaho dito at yung mga companies doon. So for me, primary pa rin. Primary okay. Pa rin. Nagpapahinga lang. Nagpapahinga lang. Nagpapahinga lang, yeah. Ang galing, ang galing. For the meantime, ngayon, diba? Um, ang ginagawa ko kasi ngayon is like, nag-aral na rin ako mag-training. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, that's what you can do at home. Yeah. So ang isa sa nakita ko is, this is the perfect time for you to share what you know. To okay. other people. Especially okay. Yung madali mo lang namang maturo by online and everything. Kasi Tama. ang dami ang dami pa rin opportunities na available ngayon. Yeah. Lang, lockdown tayo, diba? Tama, so, tama. To know that you know na yung what you know will give value to other people. Then share it. Share tama, it. tama. Your passion, your mission, and profit, magiging negosyo siya eventually. Ang galing. <laughs> ang ganda, no? Ang ganda nung mindset mo na yun nga. You're really positive about what will happen right after this lockdown. No? Parang at pause lang, syempre. Medyo, of course, there's challenging times. Marami pa rin gasos. Sometimes tuloy pa rin yung sweldo of some of our people. And then walang pumapasok. That's a burden of an entrepreneur, di ba? But what I can see with you is beyond that, alam mong malaki yung market, di ba? You being in the industry, alam mong malaki yung market, eh. So, uh, that's why you're excited and you can see na mas malalong malaki mag-open. Another thing is, you started to learn new things while you're maximizing the time right now, di ba? Kasi it's an opportunity as well, eh. No? Uh, na yun nga, nabawasan ka ng konting load. So, pwede mong ilagay dun sa ibang bagay, yung oras mo sa ibang bagay. And then, you have time for your family as well. So, actually, do you believe na after this lockdown, people will start living a more balanced life, like having time with family? Kasi, di ba, na-experience na, na eh. Ako, two months with my family here, I'm enjoying, yes. di ba? Then I'm still working. So parang, di ba, parang gusto ko tuloy-tuloy na na ganito. Yes. Di ba? Ganon. Yeah. Ako lang na-realize ko nga, ang na-realize ko nga, pwede pala. Yeah, ano, yeah. Pwede pala yung ganitong klase. Because before nung made negosyo, parang, I, I, I really have time sa husband, yeah, sa, yeah. sa family, sa parents, di ba? Kasi I'm so busy nga sa ginagawa. Yeah. Pero ngayon ko na-realize, pwede pala talaga siya. That's true. If you will just really mindfully uh, do it, di ba? A lot of time for your family, for the business and everything. Pwede. Tama, Pwede tama. Siya. Tamang allocation lang ng time eh, no? Kunyari, oh, sa umaga, family lang muna. Like ako ngayon, as much as possible, after after lunch na yung mga meetings, di ba? Ganon. Para may time with din with everything. And kaya naman eh. Yeah. You know, I, I just wanna share. I think one of the interviews, or ako naman yung interview, na-realize ko na, let's say when we're going to the office, number one, we spend time so much in transportation, lalo na sa traffic. Number two, minsan you work 8 to 5, hindi naman ka talaga totally fully nag-work ng 8 to 5. Parelax, mm-hmm. relax, ganyan. Yeah. Alam mo, inuubos mo yung 8 hours. But in reality, even if you just work for 4 hours, pero solid yung 4 hours, productive. sometimes yeah. the same productivity, minsan more productive, di ba? Yeah. Ganon. So, uh, and yun, yun I think that's one of the edge of entrepreneurs as well. Do you agree? Compared yeah. to people who are, you know, still stay in employment kasi they're, they're, you know, hindi sila, akala nila walang time. But again, we're not putting people down, but we're just comparing the mindset. You know, kasi ako, when I go to the office, like, in one of my interviews, kaya nakukwento ko, once a week or twice a week lang ako sa isang business ko eh. But when I'm there, I make sure 100%, talagang tapusin lahat ng kailangan tapusin. Do you agree na dapat ganun din? Yeah, iba ang busy sa productive. Para sa tama, natin, tama. Oh. Don't confuse being busy into being productive. Kasi you can be busy in a lot of things, pero at the end of the day, parang ano ba yung na-accomplish ko? Tama, <laughs> tama. Yeah. Ang galing, 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 Romarinel. So, it's really an inspiring sharing. Di ba? Uh, ang ganda eh, no? Na in a very short time, you shared with us 
a lot of your wisdom and halatang halata kung ano yung mga perfect or important qualities mo which is of course being masino, di ba? Matutong mag mag-manage ng pera and I like what you said na it's what's more important is kung ano yung nakikip at nai-invest more than yung pumapasok. Kasi katulad ngayon, wala pumapasok, di ba? Oh, ganun. So, um, ngayon mo lang ma-appreciate yung mga nagagawa mo in the past. Tama? Ganun. So, investments, yung mga investments parang not in the not in the business, pero yeah. yung on the side investments, yeah. ayun ko lang na-appreciate na, oh my God, ramdam na ramdam ko yung effect ng investment ko dito sa part na to. Kasi ngayon siya dumarating sa akin. Tama, oo. Oh, oh, oh. Tama, yung... kahit maliit, oh. meron compared sa wala. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Very good, very good. Thank you, Marinel, for that sharing. Welcome, sir. Yeah. So, do you have final words to share with, with us? What, what, ano yung mga gusto mong sabihin? Lalo na dun sa mga either OFWs na, you know, gustong magkaroon ng, mag-start ng sarili nilang business kasi you're an ex-OFW. Or yeah. to any Filipino who just wants to start their own business but probably natatakot sila, katulad mo, mm-hmm. nagda-doubt sila if they can. What yeah. can you tell them? Yeah, okay. So, sa mga um, nag-wish na magkaroon ng sariling negosyo, di ba? So, at first, I want to say that it's not easy, di ba? But then, if you will just dig deep into yourself, bakit mo bago gusto magka-negosyo, para saan na, and everything, it will really push you up. Eh. And uh, another thing is, yeah, it's very important that you surround yourself with positive people talaga. Yeah, yeah. Choose, be, be mindful of who you, you spend your time with. Because okay. chances are you will be like them, talaga, yeah, yeah, So yeah. if you choose to be with people na alam yung very uh, visionary and action oriented and alam mo yon talagang ganado sa buhay, yeah. magiging ganon ka din eh, diba? Okay, okay. Yeah. And last is yun nga, be responsive to change. Because wow. sa ngayon, di ba? Yung sabi nga ni, uh, it's not the smartest, it's not the strongest who will survive, mm-hmm. but the person who is most responsive to change yun talaga yung mag, mag-e-emerge ngayon sa mga season na to. So, Galing. To change. Thank you very much, Marinel. Ang ganda ng mga words of wisdom mo and all your sharing. Your story is also inspiring. It shows us that, you know, kahit walang business background or wala pa nga sa plano in the past, yeah. no, but sometimes <laughs> just saying yes to the opportunities and being open yeah. can really work wonders for you. And lahat ng mga sinabi mo, like, being with the right people and everything. So, guys, natutuwa ka ba kayo rito? Marami ba kayo napulot? If yes, kindly put it in the comment section. What are you learning? What have you learned so far? What's your biggest takeaway from Marinel and in this video? And again, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel. And at the same time, share this with your friends and tag them. If you benefited from here, uh, from this video, make sure they will benefit as well. And don't forget to to follow us in Facebook. Sa kanila pwede makontact, Marinel, if they wanna, if they wanna, you know, reach out to you. Yeah, um, so, email na lang yung ibibigay ko. Sorry okay. So, my email is um, marinel.overflow at gmail.com. It's, okay. it's my personal email. Okay. And the company email. Overflow, grabe. Overflow uh, talaga. Oo. Uh, uh, <laughs> if yeah. you want, to, to, you know, to find opportunities to our agency, it's hr.mechainternational at okay. gmail.com. And okay. our Facebook page, yung company Facebook page is Mecha International Manpower Agents. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you very much, Marinel. Thank, thank you very you much, guys. And thank, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you around on our next video. Salamat. Thank you, thank salamat, you. Salamat, salamat.